that was pretty stupid. Not from where I'm sitting. Do you think you're fooling me? You didn't break up with Amanda to get me. You're just saying that because you're trying to get me to walk. Well, for your information, I'd rather do 24-7 latrine duty than get involved with somebody like you. I hired you. Up with Amanda. Well, I broke up with Amanda for a lot of reasons. But one of them was you. I, I didn't think it was fair to her anymore. I didn't think it was fair to myself. You know, if you don't really see a future there. I don't believe you. I don't. I wish you'd stop messing with my head yeah, like you do all the time. There's a lot of things I would like time. to say to you, if it's okay with you. I would like to tell you how I've been feeling, how I've been feeling about you. I know all about David. Feel about me, Martin. You feel pity. And you also feel a truck little guilt because you think you had something to do with me getting knocked down no, those I stairs. I feel terrible. I saw you at the bottom of the staircase. I feel terrible, but I don't pity you. No, I don't pity you. I do, however, notice that you are using this whole situation to check out, just to give up. And I feel you've been doing that ever since you lost your fiance. I also feel you want to go back to Iraq to not to fight the fight, but to, to figure out a way to, to, to get yourself killed. It's a bit of a story. Look at me. How am I going to help her? You don't know how I feel. You don't have any idea how I feel. I do not have some sort of death wish. I, I just want revenge. I just want revenge. I just want to kill the bastards who took away the love of my life. Let me ask life. you, so is this what the rest of your life is going to be about? It's going to be about your dead fiancé. He's dead. I'm sorry. That's unfortunate. On, uh, on the other hand, you are very much alive. I'm not. I'm not alive. This is not alive. I'm... I'm useless. This is useless. These okay. are useless. We have all been hurt. We've all felt like we hit rock bottom, right? We've all felt like there's no way out. We've all felt like we're never going to love again. I felt that way. I, I lost the person I love more than anybody in this life, in this world. Really? Did she get blown up by an IED? No, no. She just left me. She just left me. We were working in the Sudan, and one day I'm trying to put together this Porsche most chest cavity, and she took off with the delivery guy, the guy that delivers the supplies to our camp. Now, this, this was the person that I loved more than anybody in the world, and she said she loved me just as much, but she left the mighty surgeon for a delivery guy. Now, I know that that kind of humiliation, that kind of hurt, it does not compare. It is not as traumatic an experience as grieving somebody who has died, although there were many, many days that I pretended that she's just dead because it's some sort of coping device, I suppose, even though I, I know that she's out there someplace. I'm just saying that I know what it feels like to be alone and to be angry, hopeless. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you got hurt like that. <laughs> 